hey guys what's up what it do how are you if you're new to my channel welcome my name is omalis um please feel free to subscribe at this time and give a big thumbs up to this video um if you're not new to my channel you will notice that i haven't been on youtube for a hot minute um i just want to quickly apologize for that um i was just kind of feeling a little down i was in a little funk where i didn't want to do much i didn't want to film i just didn't want to even talk to anyone so i do want to apologize for that but we are back and i'm ready to get some videos done um and up for you guys but anyways um today's video we are recording in my car just because i do have a couple things that i have to do today but i figured i just take the time to go ahead and film this video before i get started with my day but anyways today's video is going to be a quick little story time of my first fight um i just feel it's a funny story to go ahead and share with you guys and yeah why not share it before i go ahead and get started with today's video i did just want to give you guys a few little updates of what's been going on and just about my life i guess you can say um so the first thing i cut my hair i dyed it and i got bangs yeah another quick little update i got my septum pierced if you don't know what a septum is it's basically the little skin that you have right here so hold on i'll show you guys real quick all right guys so this is my septum piercing um i'm not going to be talking about it in this video too much just because i do have a separate video for that showing you guys um when i got it and just talking about it so just stay tuned for that video it should be out very soon um another update i did get a few piercings um so i went ahead and got um my day pierce that's the one in here and then i just got this middle low piercing the one right here those are just my recent piercings um another update is that i finally got a camera um so the camera that i did get i'm currently recording on so i can't show you but i will insert another clip so you guys can go ahead and see what it looks like all right guys so i just quickly wanted to go ahead and show you guys um the camera so this is what it's looking like mad cute but it is the Canon um, EOS M50. I'll leave it down in the description so you guys can go ahead and take a look at it and purchase it if you like. Um, but that is that. I also bought a little microphone for it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, but I think it's like the Rod or the Rode, something like that. Um, that's the type of microphone I got. I got the mini version since my camera is not big. Um, and then I also went ahead and got an iPad. So this is my iPad. This is the sixth generation iPad. It came out. 2018 i believe um and it has 128 gigabytes and it's specifically for me to be able to edit um unfortunately i can't afford a macbook but until then that will be suffice um and then just one final update is that i recently got a tattoo we're just gonna go ahead and get started with today's video all right guys so my first and only fight was in high school um so i was a junior in high school and the girl that i fought i'm not gonna say her name just for the sake of the video so for this video we're gonna go ahead and name her maria um and yeah we're just gonna go with it so maria and i were not like close friends or anything like that we were friends but we weren't close like you know i did talk to her outside of school but it was more so that scenario where all of my friends were also her friends um so of course we sat at the same lunch table we would always talk um yada 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 so one day at lunch i noticed that maria was giving me dirty looks um and i mean i didn't really care so much because i was like you know like it's whatever like maybe she's not looking at me or something but then like every day after that like it was like the same thing like she would be giving me dirty looks and i was like okay like now i know you're giving me dirty looks so i didn't really pay too much attention to it because i was like you know i don't have a problem with her and you know like i don't want to make a problem out of nothing you get what i'm saying so i was just like whatever but then i started to get annoyed by it because like, it was becoming an everyday thing and i was just like i haven't done anything to her so like let me just ask her like you know what's going on so i had gone up to her one day at lunch um when we were about to be dismissed to class and i was just like hey maria like uh like is there a problem like are you mad at me like did i do something da, da, da. and she just like looked at me like and walked away and i was just like oh, okay then i mean i guess there's a problem but 
until you establish it i'm not gonna like really jump on it and then um i remember after that it could have been the same day or the day the day after she messaged me on kick now if you don't know what kick is it's that old messenger thing that everyone used to be at like two three years ago um but yeah she messaged me on that and we were just like going back and forth like i guess you can say arguing and i had asked her i was like like you know why don't you like me like why are you mad and she was like oh because you're a fake ass b and i was like okay and like i started laughing because i'm like bro i literally asked you in person but you didn't say nothing and not through text like you want to be saying like i hate that like tell me in person when i ask you feel what i'm saying so anyways she just like kept on going on about how i was a fake ass b and then like she kept on like bringing up her ex saying that i was a hoe and all this other stuff and i'm like what the hell is this girl talking about i was just like well since you seem to be making a scene let me know if you want a scene tomorrow at lunch conversation ended there and then the next day when i go to school i was walking to second period yes i was and she, maria walks by me and she said something like oh wait till lunch b like something like that and i was like i turned around and i'm like i'm like what and she just kept on walking and i was just like okay like what's going on but i guess i'm gonna find out at lunch um in high school i had lunch it was either after fourth or fifth period sometime around there so i was either in my fourth or fifth period when one of my friends texted me and she's like hey um do you have a problem with maria and i was like no why and she's like oh because she's talking smack about you da -da -da. and i was like i was like no i don't have a problem with her but she has been giving me dirty looks and i asked her like you know like why was she mad but she didn't say nothing and she just like flat out said she's like oh well she said she's gonna beat your ass at lunch and i was like beat my ass and i was like but why and she's like oh because she said that you're talking to her ex da 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 and that you're fake and all this other stuff and i'm like who's the hell is her ex and she's like her her ex i'm gonna name him carlos for this video because of course i don't want to put his name out so she was like carlos and i was like me and carlos are not talking and she was like oh well apparently a few people have come up to her saying that they see you guys talking and stuff like that i'm like me and carlos are not talking yes we are friends we talk as friends but he's actually talking to me the majority of the time of the girl that he likes that he's been trying to get out for a hot minute so you got the wrong one you know in high school you can't have male friends because the second you have male friends that's when everyone want to be telling their mom their grandma their best friend and you know making un, un chisme del año that you're talking to someone when you're really not so, so anyways i go to lunch and i sit down i'm there happily eating my doritos like yes i do remember i was eating the ritos and maria comes out of nowhere like just yelling like she wasn't in my face like i was sitting down like in the bench and like she was across the bench just yelling like telling me that i'm a fake ass b and all this other stuff and all i remember is that i like like repeatedly i kept on saying but why are you mad but why are you mad but why are you mad like i literally just kept on saying that like i was being mad obnoxious like i just didn't really care because i just wanted her to like to say why she was mad in front of everyone so like everyone can see how stupid it was like you're really about like you're confronting me over your ex-boyfriend like not even your boyfriend like your ex so i was just like bro like whatever but she wouldn't say it and then since she was getting loud everyone started coming like around us of course because people be nosy as hell and one of the deans comes and walks by and of course she heard all the yelling well from her because i wasn't yelling she heard all the yelling and she's like oh is everything okay over here and i look at the girl like you know you the one that have a problem so tell her but she didn't say nothing and she just stayed quiet and she's like no, no no problem and i was just like all right like it's cool the dean ends up leaving and she starts yelling again and then she still at this point like wouldn't say like why she was mad or anything like she just literally kept on calling me a hoe and a fake ass beat that was it and then she literally goes um this is where it gets juicy so she literally goes um get the f up out your seat or i'ma drag you out and i was like 
what the freak I, I was just like then drag me be and i remember like i like like a few times i told her i was like i'm not gonna fight you over a nigga so you can just sit down she's behind me and she keeps on telling me to like get up and i was just like like i was ignoring her i was just like you know i'm not gonna fight right now like i'm really not trying to fight like i was trying to keep my cool and have patience and then this was where like i reached my breaking point because she kept on telling me to get up but i wouldn't and i wasn't even like looking at her like i was just like minding my own but then she literally like touches my face like goes like that for me to look at her and i was just like oh hell no did this girl really just touch me all i remember i don't went i swung at her took off my glasses set them on the table and then i just kept on hitting her i just blacked out i just know from like seeing the videos that i was like on her and i was just like hitting her like non-stop and then um one of the deans came to get me like to grab me and some other kid went to grab her and like he kept on like telling me oh let her go let her go and like i was just not listening and then i remember like he like literally said something about like me getting expelled if i didn't let her go and i was like oh hell no we can't afford to be getting expelled right now so i literally let her go the second he says that but i guess he didn't think i was gonna let go and literally the same millisecond that i let go was the same millisecond that he decides to like yank the crap out of me like to pull me back and of course with all that happening we both went flying i think like he had like hit his uh, like his arm or something but i had hit my head on a pole like we had both ran into the pole but i had hit my head like and in the video all you hear is like a loud ass doom and i was like damn but at the moment since i had so much adrenaline and i was just like pissed i didn't even feel like my head hit the pole like i was good like i was just pissed and he's like oh are you okay are you okay are you? and i'm like i'm fine like why are you asking me if i'm okay and then he was like oh you need to go to the dean's office da -da -da. and i was like I, I was like i need to get my book bag and my phone though it's over there on the table da -da -da. and he's like no you're not gonna get anything go to the dean's office and i was like bro are you freaking kidding me so anyways i go to the dean's office i'm there for like a good 10 minutes and um he had like told me to go to the nurse like for her to like make sure that i was okay since i had it in my head or whatever but i was good like i didn't have any scratches like nothing like that like i was i, I was, was good. good and i'm there and out of nowhere like on campus we used to have like a sheriff or something like that is he was there and the sheriff was like oh but we have a problem and i was like i just looked at him and he's like well, Maria saying um, that she feels um, really bad for what happened and she would like to apologize. And I was like, are you serious? Like, we literally just fought and you want to apologize? Like, and I just told him, I was like, well, I'm not apologizing. Like, I'm not going to talk to her. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. And he's like, oh, well, you should at least try, you know, so there's no tension. Da -da -da. And I was like, well, as of right now, I do not plan on doing that. And then he was just like, oh, well, um, can you tell us what happened? So I told him what I knew, which is what I'm telling you guys. Basically, to go ahead and sum up the story, I ended up getting suspended for five days. And I was pissed that I got suspended because she was the instigator of the whole fight like i clearly was not trying to fight her but she provoked me you feel what i'm saying so i was like bro like why am i getting suspended and the dean was like oh well because you technically beat her up and i was like just because you got a few like scratches and shit don't mean nothing like it's a fight like did you expect both of us to just walk away like good or something like i don't even know and he was just like oh well you're gonna be suspended for five days da -da -da. and i was just like whatever so i ended up going home did you know got my five days of suspension and then when we came back um they had us in the like in a room together or whatever just basically telling us that we had like a i think it was like a hundred feet rule or something something like that so that was my first fight um i just think it's funny like the funniest thing about the whole fight was the fact that i put my glasses down before like we fought like i just thought that was funny but so that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this little story time right, guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel also turn on the little bell so you're notified every time i do upload a new video i hope you have a good day a good night whenever you're seeing this and i'll see you in the next video